Hey, it's Matt Kelly, host of the Next Gear Green here at EVS, the Electric Vehicle Symposium. We're in Anaheim at the Anaheim Convention Center, and I'm joined today by Chelsea Sexton. And Chelsea, I can't believe that we are standing this close to the vault. I know, and even closer, and it will be in my driveway. <laughs> Let's hope. How soon can that be? <laughs> well, so far they're talking about 2010, but you know that's when I'll really be happy is when it's in showrooms, when it's in driveways. But it's really exciting to be this close to it now. And also to be standing this close to the actual plug. Plug. Well, yeah, we sort of a joking. Looks more like a mouse. It's kind of very <laughs> Mac-like, but mm -hmm. it's very cool. This car just really gets me so excited. And when I put it up against maybe the Prius or something like that, if I were to say everything was equal, equal, I would still buy this just for its simple styling alone. I can't believe you're saying that this is equal to a Prius. It blows the <laughs> Prius out of the water. What can I say? I'm just saying if everything was equal, this would still be my choice. Because i got to think that when you look at everything, design has really got to be a major part of the equation, not just fuel economy, fuel efficiency, as well as safety and interior styling. No question. I mean, a lot of cars are purchased on emotion. They have to be cool looking. This is a very cool looking car. It has, you know, a lot of very unique styling. And even more importantly, it has a plug on it, which the Prius does not have and doesn't look like it'll have anytime soon. You You've actually had uh, a rather interesting history with General Motors. You've kind of left the fold, so to speak, but at the same time, you never really quite left. General Motors actually makes it quite a point to m keep you informed of what they are, in fact, doing. Can you talk a little bit more about that relationship? Well, I think it's been an interesting relationship for sure. I used to, I used to be part of the company, and I, I don't know that I'm, you know, universally liked within GM, but that's okay. I mean, I just sort of say what I think about what's going on, and certainly we are known for calling them out and crushing the EV one and the different things and at the same time I'm just as known for saying when I think any of the companies are doing something good I want them all to do better really what's the point of the work that I do mm -hmm. so I do think that this is a really good first step it's a great concept a lot of work happens between concept and showroom I mean we certainly don't declare victory so to speak because of a press release or a concept car mm -hmm. but I think it's a great first step and they seem to be making progress it is very cool to get to stay informed I do have lots of friends at GM and some of the other car companies too and you know we're looking forward to seeing how it progresses in the next couple of years wonderful You're final thoughts then on this vehicle and what it means actually for the driving industry as a game changer. Oh, this would change everything. I mean, it's an absolute moonshot for the company. It's really important, really meaningful for General Motors, I think, but it's huge just for the driving public. I mean, to be able to have everything that you want in a car with no compromises and being able to drive not with petroleum, it's, it's good, clean fun is really what it is. Wonderful. Chelsea Sexton, a star of the movie Who Killed the Electric Car here at Electric Vehicle Symposium. EVS 23 in Anaheim. I'm Matt Kelly for the next Gear Green.